the first one came to my mind is、uh, Meredith Monk, and one of her song I like is、uh, Diamond Music, and the reason about her is she was the person open me about voice and or voice theater style. Earlier time, I was in the theater doing more modern dance, but I always like to sing. But I always doesn't like to sing in the normal way. I doesn't like to sing in a pop way or a classical way. So I explore my voice in all kind of possibility. Until one day, I I listen to her CD and it just immediately feel like, yes, I just want want to explore voice in a pure、um, elements way, and it could be expressive. Very personal connection. In the year of 2000, I was in New York, my first time to the states, and a big opening for my art career too. Because before that, I wasn't so sure I want to be an artist. And I was in New York, and I took her workshop, Meredith Monk, and at her home, as a studio in Soho. It was great experience, especially there are so many great singers from all around the world. They they came there for her class, and we just together jam a lot and perform together. So there was kind of the starting point for me to to make decision that I want to do voice performance. <laughs> Opening of、um, the possibility of a voice can be in so many different dimension and so many possibility of cross cross field to express it with music, with dance, with the theater. Yeah, I heard the CD maybe six six seven years ago already before I came to New York. <laughs> There was the time that I feel I need to break all this frame or the limitation. I I don't want to be in a style. I don't want to be in a certain way. I think it's more about my life. I was、um, born in a martial law time in Taiwan, and everything is in rule. So until the martial law release is when I was in high school the last year. So、uh, then I go to university and everything start to change in Taiwan. So there's a feeling like I don't want to do the same thing. I don't want to be in the rule. I don't want to be told about what should I do. So this start to evoke in inside of me. I was in chorus since I was a kid, but I suddenly stop singing in university for a reason. Just I don't want to sing that kind of perfect as you like, as the conductor required me. So when I first heard Melody Monk's the CD, actually it's just, for example, to imitate the sound of insect, the vibration, or the sound of、uh, sliding. It's just very pure, no any other judgment or just a pure sound. And that suddenly touches me. Maybe as a person, I wanting to find my pure identity without other people's influence. Before that, so I pick her. It's, I think it's more connected to my process of my own learning to find my own identity, to be true to myself. And that was one creative source that when I first heard it. <laughs>
actually don't know Meredith Monk that much. I I got the CD and I listened to it, and first thing came to my mind is someone did the same thing with me. That I did in the best stop, like playing the sound. But later, you know, I did research. Wow, she's master already. You know, <laughs> yeah. But that's the feeling. Like I feel someone knows what I wanted to do, and that opened my、um, another way. You know, I I stopped chorus, stopped singing for a few years, stopped using my voice. So that opened another door for me to. Again, to explore voice in a more creative and no boundary way, yeah.